Mama. Mama. This is Mama. This is Mama. Everyone, we are back for another fabric haul. Um, I know I'm in a new room. I've got a new sewing setup, and I also have a new sewing machine. I don't want to talk about any of that today. I just want to talk about the new fabric that's in front of me. I am. I always get so excited ordering fabric. I love it. it just like, oh. and so part of my rotation is like as I get down to about two outfits or so left to sew from the previous round, I order another round to kind of just keep the cycle going. So let me organize these and I will share with you what I am planning to sew in the next couple of months. I think that's about organized. So if you're unfamiliar, Farmhouse Good does these uh, rotations where they'll do like a free gift with a I think it's a $40 purchase, so this is the free gift currently, um, is a, it's a four, five pack of blue and bordery floss, anchor and bordery floss. So, that, that came as a bonus. I stocked up on needles, um, because yes, I do have a new sewing machine, but I'm also going to be using a domestic one. That's an entirely another conversation for another video, but I stocked up on some needles. So that's, we can put that away. That's not quite the fun stuff. Getting on to the fabric. Um, okay, so this, I went to I went to Saga, and I gotta say guys, like I kind of got into a little bit of rut of like a, a get content out, let's go, let's go, let's go sort of thing. And I was reminded at Saga how much I love the hand work, just like the really tedious hand embroidery, just all of the ooey gooey hand stuff. So I was like, I need to get back into this and I'll just release videos when I release videos. So that is this lovely Batiste is um it's some of their new stuff. It's like a I think it's called a lore Batiste. This is I will put all the stuff down in the description box below. It's like a sort of um Audrey's in her room. It's like an antique sort of color. I'm not very good with colors, but like I said, everything will be linked down below. And then I got a ton of uh, floss, floche, sorry, floche, not floss. Floche, which is, if you're not familiar, is this stuff that comes like this, and you do not pull it from there. There's a whole, there's a whole um, process to getting it from this to being usable, which I might do a video on if you're not familiar with it. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see a video on that. Um, but yeah, I'm doing a bunch of shadow work embroidery on this uh, fabric. I released the design yesterday on my Patreon for those um, insider Isadoras, so you guys can see that. But you can just see all like, I'm so excited, all the ooey gooey colors and just like, isn't this going to be so pretty as shadow work? Oh, I'm so so excited about it. So I've got two greens, a blue, two pinks, a purple, and a yellow. Um, so that will be that. Another garment that I'm doing that I'm super excited about is I'm showing how to do Madeira hand uh, applique work. So this is going to be the base fabric and uh, then I'm taking all of the um, all of this satin Batiste. I've got uh, two greens, a blue, and two pinks. Anyway, so this is all satin Batiste that I'm going to make into a whole Madeira thing. Um, so I'm super excited about all hand applique, and then I'm going to do the pin stitching by hand around each applique. I'm super, super excited. I'm not sure if it's technical like I'm in Madeira, but I have a technique in my mind. I will do a video on it, and I'm just so excited to try it. Um, Something that I've been getting so many requests on and I am I'm gonna be doing it here soon for all y'all who have requested it is CC they renamed this from Carol to Aprons. So CC Carol uh, the apron thing, that is this. I will be trying to combine it all into one video, so I'll probably be doing the smock version with the collar. I'll show the inverted box plate on how just to position it if you want that. Try to cover view B and C in one video. View A, I haven't seen many people do that, but that's the simpler version. So if I cover View B and C in one video, you should be able to do A. There's some, uh, that didn't confuse you. So I'm doing it in this like 
aqua flannel and then I have some leftover Liberty that I'm going to do as the collar and I'm going to make some piping out of that flannel as well. And I am so excited about this. So along with going to Saga and getting kind of like re-energized re -ener 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 <laughs> about like, you know, with all the handwork that I love to do and kind of like just reminded that I really love. I mean, there's there's nothing wrong with making a dress in a day. I like that as well. That's all good in games. But man, just sitting there for like 20 hours working on, it's like, it's my jive. So, I've been on the, I'm going to have like explode these all on my face, I feel like. I've been on the haute couture side of YouTube lately during nap time. I'll sit there during nap time, which we're, pu we're pushing against nap time, so I'm trying to get this video released, or sorry, recorded. Um, trying to get through it. How do you open these things? Oh, they're taped. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, so I've been on the haute couture side of YouTube. I'll sit there and I'll nurse nap Henry while um, for the afternoon nap while Audrey naps and the whole house is quiet. I'll just sit there and watch YouTube videos. There's another one on this side. And I've been doing haute couture stuff, and I've just been inspired to like not to say that my work is anywhere near their work, but just kind of been inspired to to do to branch out and do some new stuff. So that's what I'm doing with this um, silk chiffon and this gold ribbon, uh, silk gold ribbon, silk satin gold ribbon. And for whatever reason, all those haute couture people they just use straight. Um, metal pins like this and so I said well if I'm gonna be doing this I'm gonna need me some straight metal pins will be part of the fun they were like two dollars because I was, I was like I'm just gonna I'm gonna do it so the other thing about the haute couture is I've been really inspired to make my own patterns so I'm gonna dabble in it I've got I've got some ideas up on the noggin that I want to try to draft up so that is where that's gonna come into and um, I will be taking you along that process as well. A um, couple last things is, doo -doo 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 -doo. okay, so uh, you may, it's, it's sort of weird to say this, but um, I feel like people who watch my channel may not be typical YouTubers, so you may not have heard of Casey Neistat, but Casey Neistat is a very big YouTuber. He's kind of known as like the golden boy of YouTubing, and I don't, I mean, I'm not a, he's a daily vlogger, that's how he started, and he likes to do films, and he likes to edit, and all that sort of stuff, and he does some really cool work. I am by no means that sort of creator, I like this sort of stuff, and I lear have learned enough camera and editing software and equipment, and all that sort of stuff, to be able to produce these videos, but I'm not trying to be a filmmaker by any means. But um, his work just is inspiring, and he has like, this great motivation, you know, just this sort of lovely outlook on life and um, anywho so I've been watching him for a number of years and I just wanted to say thank you to him and uh, he does a mail time which I thought well that'd be kind of fun he just had a daughter so him and his wife just had a second their second daughter and I thought it would be kind of fun to be in part of his mail time to say thank you whatever so and because he does the filmmaking side of things I'm going to be doing two dresses one for each of his daughters like I said you just they just had their second daughter like a week ago or something like that um, so I'm be making two dresses and because he does the filmmaking and he's into all that sort of stuff I'm going to push myself to do stop motion while I create at least one of these dresses if not both of them um, which should be really entertaining to, to watch so that'll be a little bit of a push for that so that's what this is coming into and I did um, for the lace I ordered uh, Swiss that uh, what's that plant called um, the valley what's the one Lily of the Valley that's what this lace is it's Lily of the Valley I've got the edging and both of the sizes, so one will be for the newborn and one will be their older daughter is going to be three in December. Um, and I saw them on one of their vlogs a few years ago. They were in New Orleans. And I actually went into this shop when my family went to New Orleans several years back. And they have, like, in the downtown, whatever it's called, that French district, they have in, uh, a shop there with heirloom christening gowns. And I remember, uh, um, oh my god, her name just my mind. Uh, crap, I know her name. What's Casey Neistat's wife's name? You remember? Uh, I know it. It's on the tip of my tongue. Candace. Candace. I was thinking it started to see, but I'm like, no, that's Casey. Yeah, Candace. Okay. <laughs> I remember Candace looking through all those dresses and she made a comment like she loved them and I thought, oh, 
I used to do that for them. And now they've had their daughter. And I just thought this would be a great opportunity, a great time to do that and be a part of everything. So that's what that is. This over here, I just thought I want to get my hands on this. This is some blue, um, some blue Batiste. It is quite on the, um, you know, fluttery, like airy side of life. It's quite lightweight and whatever. And it was, they're on sale for right now for $5 a yard. So I would say go get you some. It is really pretty stuff. Do something for Henry out of that. So that is what that's gonna be. I'm gonna let it speak to me and get inspired for a project. And the last thing is this is actually fabric that I've already have. But this is extra from my dress that I made for a classic sewing magazine, which looks like all is well for that to be in the spring issue. Again, I will link the classic sewing magazine down below. I am going to be doing a cut work sort of point de whatever it's called. Um, for this, this is left. So, I, in case I made a mistake for that, I got an extra bit of it, and this I'm going to make into an outfit for Henry. And I already have this. It's a sailboat design. I already have it all um, uh, drawn up in Corel. I'm going to think about this one. But this is something I'm really excited about, and to, I'm hopefully going to be taping this one. A lot of you have requested some cut work tutorials since I did Audrey's second birthday dress, so it is coming. It's coming, is, is what I'm trying to say. I am, I gotta say thank you to Farmhouse again. They are wonderful. If y'all don't know, if you're in my channel, they do supply all of this for me. I do videos, and it's just kind of a, a, a great relationship that I have with them, and I just I say thank you they are absolutely wonderful and I would not be able to sew this much and make this many videos for y'all if it wasn't for farmhouse so thank you to them and I am just tickled pink this is just this is the reaction this is the feeling you get when your farmhouse arrives like every time I've ordered from them since what is it what year is it 2008 so no 2018 so for about nine years now and literally without fail every after every order I'm just like hmm so, um, if I didn't have young ones, I would be cutting into this and getting to sewing, but I do have little ones, so it's going to need nap time now. But uh, I appreciate y'all for watching. If you have any questions, put them in the comments down below, and I will do my best to answer them. And as always, guys, I can barely talk. I, uh, I hope to catch y'all next time. Thanks, guys.